Red Supreme back at y'all with a video. On this video today, man, we're going to talk about independent black women. And we're going to talk about why black women stay single, unmarried. The thing is this, man. Um, in our community, our women were told to get an education, be independent. Okay, fine. If that's what you want to do, then do that. But don't complain about the consequences later. See, there's pros and cons to being an independent woman. Uh, the pros are you can take care of yourself. You don't need a man to take. You don't need a man to pay your bills. You don't need a man for financial assistance. Fine. See, if black women were able to work their jobs and still remain in a woman's place, it wouldn't be a problem. But the problem is when these when these women get these jobs, high paying jobs, they take on the role as men. They take on a man's role. So they start competing with a man. They lose their femininity. There's no more feminine energy. But black women will say, well, they're intimidated by my success. No, a man wants to be with a woman. He don't want to be with a woman who wants to be a man. See, you lost your femininity a long time ago. You've embraced masculinity, even though you don't know how to be a man. But you shun femininity and embrace masculinity. That's one of many reasons why black women, females in America, stay single. See, a man with his paper together is not going to debate with you, is not going to argue. There's no negotiations. You want to bring that energy from work home. And it's not going to work because guess what? You take care of things at work. Cool. You want you want to keep your job. Take care of that. But don't bring that energy home. A lot of you women bring your stress from work home. And a lot of black women will say, well, if I had a man that was a provider, I'll be feminine. You don't become feminine at the flick of a light switch. You know what I mean? You're either feminine or you're not. You can't turn femininity on and off. I want you guys to notice something. When you listen to black females talk, they'll, they'll tell you, well, if I had the right type of man, I'll be feminine. That's like a man saying, if I had the right woman in my life, I'll be a man and get up and go to work. I'll get up and go to work if I had the right woman. See how that sounds? You're supposed to be a man regardless. It don't matter what type of woman is in your life. It don't matter if you ain't got a woman at all. You're supposed to be a man at all times. So as men, we don't get to say, I'll be a man once I get a decent woman. But for black women, they, they'll run around. They, they'll say this with no problem. Uh, when I get a real man who provides a man that's a real man, I'll become a feminine woman. So what they're saying is, no, I'm not feminine because I don't have a real man. So I'm going to be ratchet and non-traditional until I find that real man. And then in the flick of a light switch, I'll just become feminine. It don't work like that. You're either feminine or you're not. And I told you guys, there's a lot of fake femininity in the black community. Black women trying to learn how to be feminine in their 30s, 40s. It is over. You're nothing but a good time. For a man, nobody's looking. Nobody's looking for a, a long term relationship with you. You are there for a good time, not for the long haul. A lot of our women get it twisted. They believe because they're having sex that men still want them. There's a lot of women out here that's that's good enough for sex, but you don't want to be with them. And women try to rationalize this shit through their own logic, and they have no logic. They operate through feelings. And I'm telling you, ladies, there's a lot of men that will love to sleep with you, but they don't want to deal with you. That's a big there's a big difference. Sleeping with you when dealing with you is two totally different things. And what I'm noticing is black women, they got a whole lot of sex partners, but no husbands, no fathers for their children. Nobody wants a strong woman. Nobody wants a strong, independent woman who competes with a man. You want, you want a woman that's soft, feminine, that does her job as a woman. Black men don't want to coach black women no more because black women are not coachable, which means they are not teachable or reachable. Black women have made their beds. They must lay on it. They must lay in it. Man, if I want to go on a trip right now, I ain't dealing with no career woman. She got to work long hours. Same thing with a baby mama. She got to get baby babysitters. No. A man with his shit together 
wants to get his money's worth. A career woman, a successful man investing into a career woman, he's not getting his money's worth. She gives the majority of her time to her boss, to her job. She doesn't fit. She's not fit for a successful quality man. She doesn't fit in his lifestyle. The single mother that needs babysitters. Got a, got a baby by another man. I mean, she might be able to get out from time to time and you can have fun with her, but never invest in the next, in the next man's baby mama. Her time is limited. She can't be spontaneous. When you get your paper as a man, you want something to uh, compliment you for what you work for. for, for how, you want to be complimented for your hard work. And a career woman can't compliment you. Single mothers can't compliment you. You got to get a young woman with no children that's willing to get on your program and you can just ride out. Baby mamas, single mothers, you guys had a, you, you, you had your turn already. You had your turn already. You messed that up. It's the young girl's turn now. The young, beautiful women with no children step up. We are looking for beautiful women like you to go to do things, to have fun. And if you prove yourself, you will be able to enjoy the trips, the gifts. And we'll go out and just have a we'll have a great time. But we're not dealing with women with baggage. That's a no, no in 2021. Say no to baby mamas. I'm out.